Hello, I'm going to show you how to upload the software onto the Micro BITX. You might want to do this to upgrade your Micro BITX with the latest firmware. We will go through a number of steps and I will point out where you could go wrong so that you don't repeat those mistakes which people often repeat. But before we do that, uh, we will just do the simple check that on the Micro BITX you will have to uh, connect up the micro BITX with uh, a USB cable. Uh, this kind of a USB cable is called the mini USB cable. Uh, and keep the USB powered on, uh, uh, keep the micro BITX powered on uh, and attach the other end of this cable to the PC. Now on the PC, what you have to do is fairly simple and let me show you that okay so first if you haven't already done this is to install the Arduino IDE which is called the integrated De development system uh, where you just go to arduino.cc and then go to the downloads under software and there is actually just about one software which has downloaded the Arduino IDE. So you can choose the one that you need for your operating system. It's a fairly simple thing. You just click download and it installs it in a couple of minutes and then you're good to go. Now, the next thing is that once you have done this, uh, you can fire up the Arduino itself. I'm just firing it up. It'll get onto your screen shortly. The Arduino takes a little while to start up because it's a Java program and uh, it loads a number of things which have all come bundled uh, together. So this is the Arduino IDE and this is the source code. All the Arduino software that you write for uh, the Arduino Nano or the Micro BITX, Arduino refers to it as sketches. Uh, don't ask me why, I just work around here. So this is done. And here we'll have to just make two simple choices. One is that see to it that the board here that you choose is the Arduino Nano. So you go to tools, click on board menu, and from there in the list you choose Arduino Nano. And the second thing is that you can go to the tools again and in the port, select the port on which the Arduino is connected to the micro BITX. Often um, people have uh, complained that they couldn't see this port here. Uh, this port will actually come up if your driver for CH340 chip is installed properly and all operating systems now carry this driver but in case they do not then uh, just head over to groups.io slash g slash bitex message number 76006. You can see the URL here. You can probably pause uh, my video here to get this URL and this will give you the uh, details about how to do this. But back to our main software. So now that the Arduino software is installed, the next thing that you have to do is you have to download uh, the micro BITX's sketches. So that's actually for that you have to go to github.com slash a farhan which is where my all my software uh, sources are and this you click on the repositories and scroll up and down until you can see this micro bitx v6 this might actually change later but as of the time when we are recording this the micro bitx version 6 is the current version which we are shipping out so you just click on this and the sketch of the Arduino consists of a number of .cpp files. You'll see a lot of cpp files, a couple of .h files, but the main file is actually uh, an INO file. So this is the INO file, but you have to download all of them. And the way you do it is you come here to clone or download and click on download zip. And this will actually download uh, the, the zip file here. Uh, you can actually, I'll just overwrite this because I had already downloaded it once. I'll repla I'm replacing it, but essentially now it has downloaded all the files as a zip file. 
Now come two critical things and please don't miss these. One is that when you unzip this, you can't unzip it just about anywhere. You have to unzip it in a specific folder for the Arduino to work properly. And you know which folder that is. If you go to the Arduino, uh, under File menu, go to Preferences, and in Preferences, you will see the sketchbook location. So uh, this is where you have to store uh, your sketch as you extract it. And this location actually will vary from computer to computer and operating system to operating system. So you just follow this path and th that's where you have to install it or, or rather uh, unzip it. So I'm going to unzip this. So under home, Arduino, and there, there would be a couple of other sketches if you've already been into Arduino programming. So this is where you extract it. Now, as you can see it here, which is uh, the micro BITX V6 hyphen master folder has all your files which you had seen on the website. Now comes a second very critical thing which you have to be mindful of, which is that the INO file name, which is micro BITX underscore V6.1 underscore code dot INO, this name is should be the same as the name of the folder, which is not the same right now. It's micro BITX v6 hyphen master. So let's go and make that change. Again, it's an idiosyncrasy of, um, it's an idiosyncrasy of uh, the Arduino software itself. So now we have both of them same. So you see the folder name and the INO file names are the same. Uh, the hard part is done. Now we just go and open this. We'll go to open Arduino v6 underscore cord and open. So when we open this, you will see that you have a large number of tabs open, one for each of the files. And actually some of the files may not be visible here. So you can actually see them here by right clicking this small arrow here. So now that we have been able to open the sketch here in the Arduino. Next, we press this uptick button, which will compile this and tell you that everything is honky-dory. We just wait for this to compile everything which inside, it links everything together, and then we are done with compiling. And once you have no errors showing up here, next thing to do is just click on this right arrow here, which will upload the software to the micro BITX. So here we go. Uh, it's writing here as you can see in the bottom of the screen and soon you'll be done after verifying that it has written everything properly. There we are done. So with this we have finished doing our stuff and now we can start using the latest software on the micro BITX.